Hello, it's time for another Tips and Trick Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready for this weather to be gone. It's pouring rain outside today, um, ready for spring. So I'm going to try to uh, warm you up with another tip from AutoCAD. Today we're going to be talking about an age-old command. Even though it's old, don't let it fool you. It's extremely powerful, and the command is called filter. Not filters, that's actually a different command, but filter single. And uh, this command is used by many AutoCAD gurus. Top secret command. This command isn't in any of the menus. And if you don't know about it, you'd never find it. That's why I'm here to tell you all about it. So the goal behind filter is basically to filter out the objects in your drawing. So you can even get some basic object counts by using filter. And I actually think it's a lot easier than some of the other options like quick select, for example. So I'm going to go into the filter command. And let's take a look. Once again, you have to key it in because it's not in any menu, right? And let's say I wanted to count all of a specific type of block in my drawing. I could come up here as a big long list of all the different object types as well as all the properties. And I'm going to go to block name. And I want to get a listing of all of the blocks called evergreen tree. All right. Now, don't forget you have to add that to the list. So right now I'm telling it I want to filter out all the blocks with that specific name of evergreen tree and now I'm going to hit and apply. So I'm going to say I want it to check out the, all of the objects in the drawing to give me a count. And it comes back and it says 16 found. So I know that there are 16 of those blocks in my drawing. So it's nice for just simple counting purposes. But I can actually now do something with these blocks. Maybe I want to move these blocks to a different layer. Maybe I want to delete them. And whatever the scenario is, you'll see that they are in a selection set that I can now use to edit, right? Okay, so that's, that's one means. Let's, let's go back in again. I'm going to dig down a little bit deeper because I also want all the block names evergreen that are on a specific layer. So I don't want all of the blocks. I only want the ones that are on a layer called plant. Let's see, layer called plants. I'm going to say OK. Forget to add that to the list. I always seem to forget that. OK, now let's try apply again. And now I'm going to say all just so I can have it check the entire drawing. And you'll see this time it only found 11 and it highlighted the ones that were just on the plants layer. The other, the other blocks with the same name are not highlighted. And once again, I could do something with them if I needed to. Okay, so it's all about filtering out objects. Okay, let's, let's do a little bit more. You can make this very, very complex. You'll actually see that there's some filters in here that have to do ands. Maybe you want all the blocks called evergreen and all the blocks called cars. You could do um, ors. You could, there's all types of options in here. This can get very, very complex, but we're going to keep it simple for this tip, right? We don't want to make it complicated. So I'm going to clear this list. Let's say I'm looking for some, uh, some text. I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, I want all of the, the text in my join. In fact, I'm going to ask for a specific height, all the text that has a height of one. We'll add that to the list. Let's apply that. Let's see what happens. And you'll see that it highlighted two of the text strings. And then maybe I could do something to them. Maybe I could say all of the text that has a height one that's on a specific layer. Um, but once again, the goal here is to be able to filter the objects so that you can do something to them. Or in some cases, you just want to count them. Um, I've seen that happen as well. OK, let's go ahead and make it just a little bit more complicated. Let's go back into Filter one more time. Could just hit an enter to go back in. You don't have to keep typing it in. Bad Lynn. And I am going to edit this value. So I don't want just one. I actually want all the text that is going to be greater than or equal to the height of one. So I'm going to edit that item. And I'm going to come down here and drop this list down. You'll see it's not just equal to, but I could also say greater than, that's less than, <laughs> greater than or equal to one. Remember your good old math days? <laughs> Which way does it go, right? <laughs> greater than or equal to one. And I'm going to hit substitute. If I hit add to list, it's just going to add one more entry on there. We're going to say substitute. OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and say apply. And I'm going to say all. And you'll see that it grabbed all of the text because the, the smallest height was one. All the other text has a height greater than one. So it grabbed all of the text in the drawing that had a value, a height of one or more. So there is a lot of capabilities here. The filter command is actually a really amazing command. Like I said, if you take a look at this, you'll see so many options in here. You can even add a selected object 
pick anything in the drawing, like I'll grab that for example, and it will add all that information up here and then you could delete anything you don't care about. Like maybe you don't care about, um, well you can continue to edit these. You can edit this until you get exactly what you want from the list. Maybe I don't care about the normal vector or maybe I don't care about the color, what, you know, whatever the situation is. Unfortunately, you can't use the shift key to grab more than, one on, more than one entry. But you could narrow this list down and make it as exact as you want to find any type of object in your drawing. And that is just so valuable. So I want you to take a look at this, the filter command, single, single. And uh, I am going to see you back here in two more weeks. You're going to impress your friends, your coworkers with this command. Trust me, I know it. You're going to be the CAD guru. <laughs> Stick with me. <laughs> see you in two weeks.